Hey guys, it's Risa Shayi from Fly Fierce Fab, and in today's video, I'm bringing you my first impressions on this unit right here. This is by Outre. It's one of their L Part lace front units in the style Hawaiian, and I am wearing it in the color DR30. And basically, what that means is it has dark roots, which are probably like a 1B or a 1, and then the rest of the unit is the hair color 30. I'm gonna turn to the back so you guys can see the back of the unit. Stops at my mid back, and for reference, I'm about 5'8, five, 5'9. Five, I bought this wig off of wigtypes.com, which is where I buy all of my wigs. No, this video is not sponsored by wig types, but wig types, you should definitely holla at me because I put a lot of people onto your site. I ordered this off of wig types website for about $25. When I just checked on my phone to see how much it is now, it's still $25.42. It is synthetic, and it says it's made out of like the Futura fibers, and it's heat resistant up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but I never put heat on my wigs just for the sake of longevity. I have a hard time finding wigs that are big head friendly and comfortable for me so this wig was kind of a gamble but I'm glad I got it because this wig is a hundred percent big head friendly. I am going to acknowledge my nails are a little bit of a mess don't judge me. I did not plan on filming a video right now, but because my makeup is popping and I did not want to waste a beat, so <laughs> I was going to find something to film today, okay? Alright, so anyways, yes, this is the Outre L Part Lace Front Wig in the style Hawaiian, and it's an L Part because it has like the lace parting in the shape of an L. If you guys can see that underneath the unit, this is the lace part right here. I have not plucked it. I'm considering it. So far, all I've done is take a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and run it through the part, set it with powder, and I cut the lace off this wig. Other than that, I have not fluffed out the curls or altered this unit in any way at all. This is how it came out of the package. And it looks really, really good. Like I said, this unit is big head friendly. It does have adjustable straps in the back. It has a comb in the back and two combs here on the sides. I never use the combs because I don't want to damage my hair and I never use the adjustable strap because I have a big head and usually when I use the adjustable strap it just makes the wig uncomfortable so I didn't use any of those however the wig does fit very very comfortably on my head this cap covers a good amount of my head so I have very minimal leave out in the front and along the sides so since this is a first impressions video I can't really tell you how the wig is wearing over time yet like for things like tangling or matting or shedding or things like that however um, by the time I edit and upload this video I will probably have worn this wig a bunch I will check in via my editing and just add on the side to like update you guys on things like the shedding the tangling and the matting as far as tangling and matting go I feel like just based on the feel of this hair it feels different from like my sensational Italian curl wig I don't know why I feel like the fibers of that hair feel more I don't want to say more durable this feels softer and because it's so curly, I can definitely foresee some tangling over time and probably some matting in the back over time. But hopefully those things don't occur too early on. But I do kind of foresee that just based on how this hair feels, the length of it, and the fact that it's so curly. Was this wig easy to work with and blend? For sure. You do not really have to do anything to it when you take it out of the package. Um, I did consider fluffing the curls out at first. However, I don't think I want to yet. I want to wait till I've worn the unit a bit and just see what happens. One, because I really like these curls and then two I just want to see how it does with like matting and tangling before I start like messing with it and trying to fluff it out if you know what I mean so my favorite things about this unit are the color and the curl powder and y'all know I love a good curly synthetic wig and the reason why I like those is because in the summertime um, I don't have to worry about conditioning it and keeping water on it like I do with like virgin curly hair which I've had before and that was really high maintenance for me and then too when the ends start to go as they do with any synthetic unit I can just trim it over time and get a bunch of different styles out of it so it's like having multiple wigs it's great <laughs> I've never tried um, like dark roots with like all dirty hair for the rest of it. Um, I always was scared about it kind of washing me out because dirty is kind of brown and I'm already brown and that just seems like it might wash me out but it doesn't and I feel like a big part of that is because it has dark roots so so far I really do love this unit and I really hope that it does well with like tangling matting and shedding like I said if it doesn't would I still repurchase this wig 
yes because this would be like a great girls night out wig stunt on your ex wig first date wig going to the beyonce concert wig like special occasion wig like this is real real cute it actually kind of reminds me of beyonce's hair um in the movie obsessed when she did that movie i don't know am i the one who sees that i like it so if you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you. You can catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I am FlyFuriousFab on all those platforms. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. This way you don't miss any more of my hair reviews or tutorials. Thanks for watching, stay snatched, and I'll see you next time.